Hi guys, um, so I just wanted to introduce you all to our little babies and these guys were born yesterday morning at 6 and, well between 6 and 8am. They are four main coon baby kittens and they're only a, a day old now. And this is Zaina, she's not mum, <laughs> but she's just coming to be nosy. This is mum over here. And I've took them out because I need to clean their home. Hi guys, say hi. And <laughs> I've still got my daughter's uh, nail polish on. Hi babies. Right, so this is the home. It's like a big kitty, kitty cage. And I'm just gonna clean it because it's just not very clean at the minute. I don't really like to handle them too much. It's just literally when I've got to weigh them and um, just to make sure that they're putting weight on and that mum's milk has come through. Um, it's just, yeah, I just need to clean their cage as well once a day. Uh, I don't want them to be all dirty. the smallest one. I don't know if you can see his face. He's got such a sweet little face. <laughs> and this guy here, I think he's pretty big already, but we'll soon find out when I weigh him. What I've got here is just a few collars, just because once I weigh them, I need to know which one's which. So I'm going to use yellow and blue. I don't know which one's which yet, I don't know if they're girls or boys, um, obviously once they're a week old or so I should be able to see a little bit more but it's still really early so that's not really important for me right now, um, just want to make sure that they're gaining weight so every couple of days I need to weigh them. Okay so what I need to do is cut this collar to size because obviously as you can see it's too long. And I like to get these off Amazon, they're just like these Velcro little collars and they're great for newborns because obviously you can adjust the size as well. So I'm just going to roughly cut that shape right and then I'm going to snip. I can get rid of that. And then I'm just going to snip. Got my scales ready. Um, that's my book. It's okay, baby. It's okay. I know, I'm sorry. So it's just a good size. And I'm just going to write this down. I'm sorry. Mum's just trying to be nosy and see what I'm doing. So that's one. Go, let's do it. And then the next little kitty. Again, I'm just going to roughly cut this to size. Down. Yeah, up there. Where are you going? It's okay. Come on. Hi, Lexus. What's going on? She's just put. That's fine, I've done him anyway. Okay, I'm just going to do this little guy. Hi. She's a very good mum, as you can see. No, it's okay. It's okay. So, I'm going to make sure it's done properly. Okay, a little bit tighter. There we go. And then. 
quick as I can, I'm going to weigh this little one. Hi Zena. And then the yellow one. Okay, roughly snip it. Hey sweetie. And then. Oh, you're so small. What have I done here? Have I done this wrong? Hold on. Let me just do that. Do you know what? I know. And there's our next little bubba. I know, it's okay, it's okay. I know, we have to do this. We have to do this. Oh, you're tiny. Who are you? Little Missy Yellow. Come on then. Excuse the handwriting, guys. I'm going to put this little one with his mummy. Little Miss Green, hi. Okay. Again, roughly snip it to size, and then hello, Mr. Green. Hello, Mr. Green. Here we go. Come on then. Say hi, everybody. I'm the last one to get weighed. Yay. So we've just cleaned their bed, haven't we? Yay! Ready to go back into your bed? I Do you like your kitten, Sue? Yeah, yeah. they're so pretty. They're so pretty. Look, oh, he's doing roly polies. <laughs> Say hi. There we go. Nice clean bed. Your favourite? Uh, the red one. The red one. We haven't got a red. We've got yellow, blue, green, and pink. Which one do you like? You like the red one? Yeah. We haven't. Do you mean pink? Oh, I like the pink one. There we go. You like the yellow one? I think they're all cute. I like Four days old. They're doing really well. 
I've had to separate them from mum. Uh, as you can see, mum's in her big containment. She's not really feeling too well. She's got a womb infection. Uh, we took her to the vets. She wasn't really eating her food. Um, she just wasn't herself. So, I took her to the vets and they said she's got an infection in her womb. She's a lot better now, but I'm still having to separate her from the kittens. They advised that we shouldn't put her next to the kittens because it is like a bacterial infection apparently. So, I'm not quite sure how she's caught it. Um, so basically, I'm having to feed these guys every two hours. That's including throughout the night. And what I want to do though quickly is weigh them just to make sure that they gain any weight. Okay, now what I do before I actually feed the kittens, well what you actually have to do, I've got a little bit of warm water in this cup and some cotton wool. And just dip it in there slightly and squeeze it out. And it is literally like really, really warm. Um, and what you've got to do is, I'm just trying to see which one's awake. I think they are all awake. You just have to sort of, then because mum would do this, just to help them go to the toilet. So what I'm doing, see he's weeing, is very gently just rubbing this bit, very gently, just so he can go to the toilet. Well done! Well, it's obviously drinking, as you can see. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Good boy. Okay. I just wanna... Do you need to poop as well? Are you gonna poop? Mm, I think you are. I just wanna clean his bottom, because his bottom's a bit dirty. I know, I'm sorry little one, I'm sorry little one, okay, I'm just going to put this little guy back because I want to wash my hands before I start handling his milk, okay, and now that he's gone to the toilet, let me try and sit a bit better, sorry guys, this is really difficult because I'm trying to record it and sort of feed him on my own, so apologies for the camera. He's latched on, and I'm just very gently helping him. <laughs> and I've got escapees here, so I'm just going to put them back. I know, darling. Wait for your turn. Wait for your turn. There we go. Sorry, Bubba. Here we go. And that is literally all him doing now. I'm not even pushing down on it. There we go. I like to feed them three meals at a time, only because then I know exactly how much they're having. That's six.
a good boy, okay. So when I see that he's sort of not sucking, I just take it out and give him a little break. Um, just because I don't want him to choke or get stressed or anything. And I want to go as slowly as possible, but I don't want to rush. I know! Here you go. Brothers and sisters want milk too. I've only got two hands. Hey? Okay. And I pretty much think he's done. I just want to help these two are sort of stuck. Get down there. Good boys. Wait for your turn. Wait for your turn. They will let you know. See, he's not really that interested. I'm going to give him a little break and then I'll try to top him up again a bit later. So, that's that one done. So, I've took this little one to the toilet. It's going to fix his little collar. And washed my hands, and now I can start feeding him. This one is actually one of the harder ones to feed. He doesn't quite um, drink much, but he is the smallest. So, oh, sorry, there you go. Uh, there you go. And you can see the paws as well. What, darling? So now it's feeding time. I'll just quickly write down my weight. And what I use are these miracle nipples, and they're absolutely amazing. And I get these off eBay, but they're brilliant. So, okay. Here we go. I don't know if you guys can see properly from there. Alright, here you go. Here you go. Alright. Oh. <laughs> okay, here you go, here you go. There we go, and he's latched on. Okay. Sweetheart, you're trying too hard. That's it. Okay. What I'm doing is he's doing most of the drinking, he's sucking it quite well, so I'm not having to really push down on this too hard. But what I'm doing is if he gets a bit tired, I'm just very gently, every time he sort of takes a, a, a suck to drink it, I'm just pushing down on it really slowly because obviously kittens at this age. Um, they can aspirate, which we don't want. Here you go, darling. Here you go. Okay. And I'm not pushing down yet. I'm waiting for him to latch on. That's it. Good boy. Well done. It's not easy, it is quite difficult, but just got to persevere and get on with it. And just don't give up because it's not fair on these guys. Hey, well done. Okay. Okay. See if 
he wants a little more. Oh, it's fitting. Um, I actually let them sleep right next to my bed because I just like to keep an eye on them um, what I've actually done but I haven't done today actually because it's the house is quite hot but what I usually do is heat up a hot water bottle and I put it just on the side of this box so it kind of warms it up as well and I'm always checking them anyway but yeah so far so good as you can see I'm in bed these guys are all tucked in nicely, full tummies, and they're sleeping. So, yeah, I've got about, I say, an hour and 45 minutes until I need to wake up again. So, I'm going to try and get some sleep, and then I've got to wake up and feed them again. So, they've all been fed now. Um, they've all done a wee. I don't know if you can quite see. Let's see if I can sort of put this more in the light for you guys. I'm not sure if it's helping. Oh, there you go. Kind of helped. Okay. So I've just changed their bedding as well, again. Um, because they're weighing a bit more now, I might change them twice daily now. So once in the morning and once at night as well. So yeah, that's that. That's how, you, that's how I feed them anyway. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Hi everyone. So the babies are one week old today and I don't know if you can see because it's pretty dark in here so apologies for that but um, mummy's all better aren't you Lex? You can sort of see her eyes there but <laughs> she's able to feed her babies <laughs> now. And look. Grow in.